So I'm here with Arif and, and Rowdy the Chowdy <laughs> from Protest of the Hero, and we're going to talk a little bit about your new album. And I was just wondering, what can we expect from Fortress? Well, you can expect some thrashing, some tacky, some vocals. Like, I don't know, it's just uh, it's, it's Kazaya Part 2. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what main differences do you think, um, you, for like, how much of a departure did you guys make from Kazaya to this new album? Uh, it's, I think we are uh, more technical. Mm -hmm. um, certainly a little bit, a few more arpeggios getting tossed around. <laughs> and that kind of thing. I think people who are into it for its technicality and um, uh, for some of the diversity in the parts will like the album more, but other people may, uh, may not like it. So, mm -hmm. whatever. We're planning on gaining some and losing others, mm -hmm. such, is the, uh, such is how it flows. And definitely, it's really nice to switch things up on every so often, so things just don't get like you know stale or that sort of thing. Yeah, we don't we don't want to be like an Iron Maiden releasing the Beast for 21 years, you know, <laughs> or I guess it's like 23 or 24 <laughs> years now, whatever. Two decades. But you know, we try and change every album up a bit. It's not really a conscious effort. It's more of just you know how we progress as human beings and how we progress as you know artists. I suppose if we can use that term. Which we shouldn't, because I've never painted a masterpiece, and I've never done anything <laughs> that anyone could refer to as a masterpiece. <laughs> yeah, uh, I don't know. It's uh, if you you if you're gonna like it, you're gonna like it. I think uh, there's some you gotta just listen for it yourself. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, we're pretty excited about it, but we probably won't be in a few months. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we've played it a bunch of times. <laughs> oh yeah. Um, now this uh, album is split up into two parts. Is that right? Like, uh, kind of. Yeah, that's what I read on Wikipedia. There's a Conquest and Capture, and then the other one is Isosceles, is that right? That's correct. Mm -hmm. And now, does this album have sort of the same conceptual feel as Kazai did? Or? No way. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we had a lot of nerdy fuckers coming up to us, just being like, oh, you know, like, was she... Was she incriminated for her sex, or was it she was a prostitute? And like, just you know, asking us all these inane questions. You know, granted, like it's cool like for people to get into the album and have oh, yeah, questions about it, but you know, it gets to a certain point where you get very sick of that. Mm -hmm. So like, it's nothing against those people. It's just trying to avoid, you know, answering further. all those sort of redundant questions that get done over and over until they're just like insanely annoying. I imagine. Precisely. <laughs> um, <laughs> Yeah, and I think uh, have, hearing so many people's interpretations got us really thinking about what fiction does to people who mm -hmm. have interpretive value and how many different ways something can possibly be interpreted. So the new album is a departure from fictionalization to such a large degree. Um, it's sort of issues that, songs dealing with issues again, but mm -hmm. different issues than we've talked about in the past. Oh, that's really cool. Um, you did a, a video for Blood Meat recently. How was that experience? Um, you know, videos kind of suck. Yeah? Um, <laughs> I don't know. Like maybe, <laughs> maybe Avril Lavigne has something different to say about that. But, you know, for us, it's just like we got to dance like idiots for fucking 16 hours. And Does it really take that long to shoot a video? Yeah. yeah. Oh, you know, most like, I, I'm sure like all the big pop stars take like three or four days to do it. But, you know, we don't have like the kind of budgeting or integrity <laughs> um, yeah we couldn't do something i wouldn't have the three patience. Or four days. yeah exactly <laughs> that too but i mean just just having to dance around like an idiot all day mm. kind of sucks yeah. but we really rely on the professionalism of the people who make the videos oh, definitely. uh to get us through the day because mm. otherwise we just want to kill ourselves but this one wasn't so bad yeah uh, in wow compared oh, to the other ones fuck you <laughs> yeah this guy got worked hard in this he had to like be leaping off like, of shit yeah. <laughs> oh, really? i had this whole like fucking plan he was like okay so you're singing here then you walk up this way climb up on this table jump off the table get back sit yeah. down in this chair and then walk back up here i'm just like <laughs> This is the stupidest day of my life. It's Some like, pretty heavy choreography going on. Sweet, sweet. I hope that I had the worst haircut anyone's ever had during the time. <laughs> Not the worst haircut that I've ever had, because I've had worse. <laughs> but the worst haircut that anyone else has ever had. Yeah, everybody's had some pretty memorable haircuts. I'm really glad that this one was immortalized <laughs> in the video. 
And we, I've been hearing that a lot. People are like, yeah, okay, cool new video, bro. He's got a, a new haircut. <laughs> uh, well, I but, recently shaved my head and adopted a new philosophy of neo-Nazism. <laughs> <laughs> Just drawing swastikas on foggy windows.